Today, I'm going to give you ideas on how to make superhero masks, and I don't mean like these. Hi, I am Amy Baez, pediatric occupational therapist and founder of Play Bee, here to provide you with some playful solutions and powerful results. Today, we are continuing our Halloween series, and we are going to be making superhero masks. I invited my little cousin Noah to come play with me because I know he loves his superheroes. We are working with the Hulk and Spider-Man and Wonder Woman because I know they're our favorite. I actually think I'm a little more excited than Noah is to wear the mask because I get to be Wonder Woman today. One of the things that I wanted to stress with this activity is to create a mask that had a figure eight. Now, I've talked about this before in a previous video about figure eights, so you might want to check out that link so that you can benefit from that video as well. What I want him to do is use that figure eight in order to activate the powers of the superhero mask. What we did was place our finger in the middle of the mask and go around in a figure eight 10 times in order to activate our superpowers. After that, we colored the mask in and I helped him cut it out because Noah is a beginning learner of scissor skills. And then we punched some holes in the mask and tied up some string and there you go, we had our superhero mask. Noah is really pretty good at coloring, so that part was really easy for him. Where he has a little bit of challenge, appropriately for his age, is cutting skills. So you'll see that I helped him a lot on that end. And of course, tying the strings on to the mask was totally me. When you're cutting the inside of the eyes, you want to fold the paper in and then create a little snip and then cut around in the circles. That makes it a little bit easier. It's going to be very difficult though for a child who is a beginner cutter, so you might want to do this for them. You'll notice that in this video, we were using cardstock instead of regular paper. This provides a little bit more strength to the paper so that the mask can last longer. In the end, it's a great activity for a child who is really motivated by superheroes to work on coloring and cutting skills. And if you add in that little figure eight in the beginning, it's a great little bonus way to activate the left and right side of the brains together. So there you have it guys. You have a simple, very easy activity to work on that you can create a lasting effect with and something cool and fun for your child to do. Oh my goodness, you look so cute. Oh, he matches your shirt. Show me Hulk smash. Bye. Did you find this video helpful? I hope that you did. If you did, I hope that you will subscribe to this channel, leave a comment down below, like this video, all that good stuff. You can also head over to playap.com where you can sign up for our newsletter, where you can receive discounts and updates and all kinds of things related to Play It Beat just once a month. And you can also learn about the PAL handwriting program. So there's plenty for you to learn and many free resources there. Until the next video, I hope you have a playful day.